Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. Um, someone recently asked me what I was doing when I heated one of my large pad slicks uh, and applied it to the pad, so I figured I'd show you. Um, it's called ironing the pads. Now, this is a pretty visible demonstration, hopefully, today. You can see that this pad is kind of wrinkly. Um, reason being, this is a very large pad for a baritone I'm working on, and uh, oftentimes, you know, these get used not very often, right? So you order them and sometimes you're getting pads that are old and then they sit around for a long time. And that's the case in this one. And it looks like it was sitting underneath another pad and the leather took some impressions. And it's just not as like, you know, clean and good looking as like a new pad, right? Although I'm holding that in a way that gives it wrinkles and it's a little bit tight in the pad cup. So I haven't, I haven't ironed this one yet either, but you can just see that it starts off smoother than this one. So what I'll do is um, heat up my pad slick just a bit. You don't want it to be too hot. Just a little bit too hot to touch. Um, and obviously a smaller pad slick will heat up very quickly. And then you just kind of iron the pad out. Now, you can do this before putting it in. You can do this after putting it in. Um, doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. I feel like I'm not quite hot enough because when you get hot enough, at least in the pads I use, you can sort of feel like a little bit of drag. There we go, that's better. Across the leather. Too much and it'll stick. Not enough and it'll just run real smooth. This is a very wrinkly pad that's been wrinkly for a long time, so I'm ironing it probably more than I normally would. But at least you're getting an idea of what it looks like. Okay, and when you're done, see how nice that pad is now? Nice and smooth. All the wrinkles are gone. It also imparts some heat to the felt underneath and kind of helps straighten it out, which is nice. So that is ironing a pad the way I do it. Um, and also with my treatment that I do, um, where I spray lacquer on the pad, this still works. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know exactly what the mechanism is behind that, but it still works. Um, if you get too hot, you will singe the leather and make it unusable. It'll like tighten up a lot and get hard. Um, but you know, this is still completely flexible. Um, just a much nicer looking pad. And that is pad ironing. And it also, I think, I think it helps seal the pores. I don't know. The reason I do it, the primary reason I do it is to stretch the skin tight and get everything flat. Um, if you are seating pads and like, you know, you try once and it doesn't work right and you've got a little bit of an impression in the skin, you can iron it right out. Also, if there's like a hole in the side from needing to use like a pin vise to pull on something or from installation, you can heat up a smaller pad slick a little tighter um, and iron that hole shut. And I can actually show you that real quick. So let's put a hole in the side, like I'm holding it, right? I'm gonna put it inside. And then maybe this is sticking out. Uh, what we'll do is heat up the pads look a little hotter than the way I just did, because we actually do want to like burn it just a little bit. Let's see, where's that hole? There it is. Okay, let's see. And we should be able to apply a little bit of heat here to the pad slick. And you can see how the skin kind of hardened and tightened, but it also made that hole much, much less noticeable. And there you have it. That is pad ironing. Hopefully that was helpful, useful, and informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Thanks for watching.